Here we go, Matt. Right, here we are again, folks. We are down to the quarterfinals of the under 25 qualifier here at Stanley. Uh, as you can see, it's kindly sponsored by some fella called Jason Parkinson and some podcast called The Wrong Bias Podcast. Um, I'll f quickly flick you over. Um, our featured game on the televised ring is between Liam Nicholson and Darren Weir. And I'll run through the quarterfinal lineup. We have, as you saw earlier on our previous stream, we had Beth Reaver. She's through, she plays Josh Rowe. Daniel Poole plays John Sprout and Robert Carruthers plays Thomas Leslie. Now, there's not many things in life that you really want to close your eyes and dream of, but we've got the Dream Team commentary team coming up here, as we have uh, the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> we've got Mr. Bolt and Mr. Parkinson when he comes over, who will commentate on this one. So it gives my dulcet tones, you've got to rest. I'll just be operating the, the cameras, putting my feet up, so give them hell, folks, give them hell. Fully deserved, Mr <laughs> Mackay. You've never stopped for the last two days give whilst I've been out there enjoying myself on the green. Give them hell. Anyway, both players have actually played on the, the televised rink and both suffered the same fate because they both lost. Darren lost to uh, Gary Farquhar and Liam lost in the quarterfinals to, I think it was John McCauley, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. On this very rink, I believe. Yeah, both on the televised rink. Just we'll get this. I've got to drop this one in, like if you're listening. I'm sitting next to a six foot three, six foot four. Um, how tall are you? Six foot six. And uh, Mr. Nicholson stepped in front of the camera a couple of times yesterday, so we've just had to have a little nudge, and he says, "Well, I'm not telling him he's a big lad." Him. <laughs> 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 ah, dear me. <laughs> you, well, nothing sacred in this podcast no, nothing at all didn't be well, saying no to me I'll tell everyone well these are too shit because you've asked the umpire to have a word with them we've, we've got Dean Ray <laughs> we've got Dean Ray for sitting behind ah oh, you're right you're right <laughs> I took the official I took the official point of view we've got Dean Ray for sitting behind us here who was on our podcast yesterday and he's uh he says he did the he says he did the gentleman -y thing and uh, lost his game because he didn't want to play against his sister in the next <laughs> round. So he's, sit, he's sitting there on his phone pretending that he's ignoring what we're saying. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll not tell him which side Alex was going to put his money on. Our <laughs> <laughs> all, all I'm saying is Beth skipping the triples and <laughs> Alex is out again too. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So, looking forward to what should be a very good game. If, uh, from what I've seen over the last day and a half, uh, Liam's got some runner on him. He, he doesn't miss much. Uh, he takes no prisoners, that's for certain. Just dropped again. I feel a bit, yes. of a, yes. a bit of a breeze there. This hoodie that I've put on is finally uh, oh, coming to fruition. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> I'll just sit here with me woolly hat and scarf. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
everything everything is running uh, touch wood everything's running at a time so we might get we might get in and see our wives tonight as soon as yours is enough <laughs> <laughs> well, i'll see if you get that impression <laughs> I hope she's not watching this one <laughs> oh, no. i'll he's keep my phone and she's what you want about me he says he loves you mrs mckay i love he's you Louise. You every minute yeah. <laughs> 25 years together has been marvelous <laughs> I just remember what's mine is yours and yours is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was the vows we took while we were singing uh, Jerusalem at the wedding. <laughs> it sounded lovely in songs of praise but not, <laughs> not at St Andrew's Church. <laughs> okay. So here we go Fox. Mm. Open end. Both should have a good idea of the ring, we've both been on it. And a pretty solid opening ball from Darren. Interesting to see if they drop on the inside and the ditch side, Matt. Well, they've both gone inside. Because <laughs> I know you came off and said the ditch side was probably a bit, a bit more reliable. Uh, it's personal choice, but I just think it was. Uh, Not as severe? No, I don't think it was that. I just don't think there's. It's, it's a very, very true hand, so you're not. I think just down that other side, if you get a little bit high, it sticks a bit. Start Darren. From Darren, yeah, definitely. I think you see the ball should know how the rinks a rough idea how the, to play the rink. Here he comes. Here he comes, Gunga Din. Multitasking, two coffees and a, and a orange Glass juice. Of orange. So, big, big opening ball here needed from uh, Liam. Possibly two or three down. Got a nice rest there, anyway. So, folks, I'm going to hand you over to the Chuckle Brothers. Just cut underneath that line again. Cheap date. Cheap date. It's obviously full from that Chilean rice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go, sir. So we now hand you over to the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> to me. To you. <laughs> to me, to you, to me. <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> On a cracking line again, he is down. He's not far away. Great opening end. Pretty well grouped. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, under the laptop. Under my laptop. Oh, it's in the envelope there. Yeah. Liam's just missed the missed the line with a ball down that uh, seven side. I either choose your shot, I don't need the draw to sit the path, they're going to be adventurous, you just hit it. I think he's going to rip straight through these, rough. there we go up, looks under, and he is. Big, big target. It was, it was. Possibly two 
possibly three or four there. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> or one. <laughs> <laughs> My God, dude. <laughs> From this angle, it looks, uh, it looks like at least two. I thought Richie had Jid's back, but... <laughs> 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 Could be two down there. <laughs> yeah. So all in all, Jason, while they're doing this measuring, are you, uh, I don't know if Richie's asked you this one already, are, um, are you happy with the way the weekend's gone? Yeah, really, really happy. Giving a little shout out to the, the markers of Stanley, how they've, they've worked tirelessly for you all weekend. Oh gosh, yeah, especially yesterday. You know, some of them were on the green from, what, well, probably did about 11, 12 hours, I think, on the green. Out of a, yeah. So a long day. And that just doesn't happen by magic, does it? You no, know, definitely. It's, um, it's been a lot of preparation by the club. Yeah, it's always nice to have um, you know the club supply markers. It's not always possible, um, but uh, it certainly helps the running of the competition. Saves the uh, saves the players dashing out the fire doors when the does, yeah. when they lose. I know it's a necessity, but as I said yesterday, it's the last thing you want to do is in the nicest possible you want to help the competition but when you've been beaten you just want to have a pint and, and <laughs> yeah. disappear and then you've obviously got another hour and a half to mark but you know none of the players should mind that because it's it's what's needed to run the competitions but yeah we don't we don't ask for a lot David that's probably no, exactly. that, that's like I say that is probably the only thing we ask it of is. a player really it is it's just and like, but like you say it, it what we ask of a player comes at the probably worst possible time yeah but you know it's uh Huge credit to Stanley. They've taken all of that pressure away from the players. Just let them play balls, and it was great to see um, as many people as there were in here yesterday. Really well supported. Yeah, and he was supported very well right into the end as well, wasn't it? Was. You know, I've done a lot of these events over the last few weeks, and you kind of get to about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and it's it's normally me, a couple of people drinking, and sometimes the cleaner <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah a lot of people stayed uh, stayed behind yeah great opener from lane Biscuits there, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only reason he brought you in the commentary you now, so he can munch you away on a biscuit <laughs> without anybody hearing. Gonna say, when he was in before, there was nothing going. Now I've turned off, he's got his Werther's and originals. <laughs> He'll have gone through he's, a pack of the hobnobs by the end of his gear, man. Yeah. <laughs> Three custard creams. <laughs> And a pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's coming down now. Pace decides. Does finish well at that death on that hand, and he has. Yeah, he goes coming sideways at the end at some length. Were. That's only because I was tight. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to say. <laughs> It's actually a really nice hand to play a little timer on as well. Holds well and then just cuts at the death, which you want. Don't forget if you have liked what you've seen during the last couple of days, you want to get involved with the, the PBA stuff. We're still offering the uh, free membership. You can go onto the uh, Professional Bowls Association website, look at how to become a member, and there's a little tab there that says mailing list. Fill your details in, and when we start running different qualifiers, you'll automatically get the notification because they have filled up very fast this year, which I'm really chuffed about. A couple of different things we're working on in the pipeline. You'll probably remember the old tour card, David. I'm looking at uh, bringing the tour card back. Yep, that's great. No, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely been a very positive year for you. You've done a great job. I hate to admit it, but you've done a great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too kind. 
Well, definitely wider. Just don't think this pierce yeah. is going to get on back. Too quick. Yeah. So, a very solid start from Darren. 3 0. That'd be a three, Richie, yeah, and you put your cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> Crumbs all over this table. It's fuming. There'll be mice all over in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have had the chocolate for the solution yet. He'll be peeling a he'll be peeling a chocolate orange in his pocket in a minute, so he doesn't have to give us any. <laughs> it's the fact that he even dipped it in my brew. <laughs> It's the man who turned out a, a custard slice yesterday. I did, didn't I? I did well there. That was well power for you. Katie, she thinks she got me on this diet. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> when I'm turning down custard <laughs> creams, you know, there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, good solid open again. Just under. Yeah, she's definitely the, the, the most interesting tie, I think, of this, this half of the draw, should we say. It's yeah. kind of not got, uh, when, as an organiser, well, I suppose anybody in sport, you look at the draw and you kind of start building your own semi finalists, don't you? you know, let's say I'm glad I didn't put any money on my bets because I think I've only got two right. Two out, two out of eight, I think I've got right. I do, remember a, I do remember a comment prior to this weekend where I was out first round. Thanks very much for that uh, confidence. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, be very careful as we're getting. So I've told you on a wild car. <laughs> then you'll be out first. <laughs> oh Crack and line, eh? What's his pace like? Yeah, great ball. Drops in, he probably makes shot. Was he slightly quicker today? I think so, yeah. I think, like I say, it just seems just slightly quicker today. That short, that short length that John started off in the final was like glass. Was it really? Oh. I dropped, I dropped one and I thought, Craig, that's not even going to get past the mark. That was a yard heavy. <laughs> I timed, well, I tried to time it earlier, roughly, and I got about 16 and a half seconds out of it. But the heating's back on. I think, I think it's, uh, it's gradually getting back to that green green that it used to be, which was, for me, you, the rinks that I've played on have had four hands. You've been able to play good balls on it, and the pace is starting to pick it, which is new carpets as well, I know it takes a little bit of time to bed in, but um, it's not it's not that far away from what it used to be. No, and it's quite interesting you say that, obviously, because this used to be the, like, the home of quite a lot of international bowls, and yeah. obviously we go through the player profiles at Potters many a time, and you know one of the questions that's on there is, you know, can you list your favourite green, and Stanley always comes up, you know, it's probably one of the, the top 85% where yeah. the old Stanley was, was always up there, um, but like I say, yeah, a lot of carpets when they change do go slower, it just takes a while. I'm sure it was a bit of a wrench for the club to have to change it, but it was just getting it being down that long, it was starting to get a bit threadbare, I think. And oh, what a crap ball this is! What a ball this is! Oh, great stuff! Well played. Just guarantee the pace, just land on the bowl. I think even if he gets the outside edge of the bowl, he could just flip yeah. the jack across. Definitely, yeah. Doesn't hang around, he's definitely a very quick player. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't spend much time behind the mat, does he? No. Short, so we're showing yeah, just today. Uh, Give him the side. Currently, the uh, Henslide barge is lying short, and <laughs> the shirt is a close second. There we go. Oh, quick chat with Greg here. Richie will not tell him. I was saying before the start, <laughs> Richie will not tell him because he says he's too big for me. He doesn't. He looks like he can handle himself. 
all of a word, and I mean, I'll see how big lads. Get off us, I don't yeah. know the ring. <laughs> and I'll be right behind you, David. <laughs> carry on the story, Mr. Paul. Carry on the story. Who did you want to see? What happened next? It was only because I was busy, so I asked the umpire to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right behind you, David, don't worry. <laughs> you wouldn't see me. Quite like my kneecaps. <laughs> well, well it's, it's less pace. A better pace, yeah. yeah. Wants to run now. Needs to get his ball full, otherwise it'll wear. Yeah, there we go, it's good drop of two now. Definitely not telling him now, because he's in a bigger rough after missing that. He's going to have a right old moon now. <laughs> Go on, David. Who are you telling to get off the centre of the ring? Just you, sir. <laughs> Some good interesting games on out there as well, isn't there, on the other rinks. It's hard to tell whether they, would you call them English or Scotland. Because like, you've got a lot of people that play in England but live in Scotland. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Poole obviously plays at Cumbria, Robert Carruthers, Cumbria. I think they actually both live just over the border, don't they, in Scotland. Josh Rowe, I think, is Kent. Tom Leslie is Northumberland, no, sorry, Northamptonshire, I think it is. Yeah. Is it Tur Tur Turpin, is it called? Tur Turplin, Turpin, it's about a building club. Well, we've just been watching uh, Beth Reaver in the last game and she played really well. And just looking across the green there, she's got <coughs> some nice balls again. I'm not up to Miss Chief now. Just got not Dean. Just Dean Reaver sat behind. I was just going to say, Beth's obviously the talent in the family. We've, we've, we've just we've just had that dinner earlier on. Yeah. Them twice. yeah. Silly people sitting so close. <laughs> you listen very carefully. You can hear his match statistics. <laughs> Needs to miss now. Just over the pace again, I think. Yeah, just running through. Quick at this again. He's struggling to get back again. Off and away, is it? Oh, he's going straight through the gap as well. Didn't even get the touch. So the questions regarding who gets into the under 25. So obviously we're still just coming out of the, the COVID, and it's been very, very different. But uh, the, the normal procedure, how we have things, is we have the current champion, which is uh, William Moulton. He won it uh, two, and a bit, two and a half years ago now, I think it is. Um, he's the current champion, so he automatically gets invited back. We have an overseas qualifier who this year has been uh, represented from Hong Kong. We then normally have a IIBC champion. Um, and then we have a PBA qualifier. So, but obviously, the trouble is that we have at the moment, sometimes these current champions are now too old. So the current champion is actually too old, because the and the interesting thing we we're talking about it earlier with Colin Banks. Actually, we have obviously even if we just take the UK as because we have the British Isles, we all have a different date for a cut-off date for an under 25s or over 60s. So and the way we have it for ours is you have to be under 25 on the day of the competition at Potter's. So as long as you're under 25 on that day, 
then you're eligible to play in this. Yeah. So, so yep, you guaranteed one qualifier at least from the PBA, which is good. If you get two, that's a bit of a boosty bonus. Definitely, yeah. Well, yeah, that's a great ball, a ball that was. A great ball from them. We'll let him off a stand in front of the camera again. For an end. I think Rich is tired, he's just he like giggling to just, himself. He's just whacking to open a box of Ferrero Rocher, isn't he? <laughs> 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 I'm covered in crumbs, I tell you. <laughs> You're starting to bleed your ear at a minute. <laughs> I need a Henry Hoover to get out of here. BFG just going past the back camera there. This just looks slightly over the pace. Great line. Debbie Stavro says you're under 25, they'll not know what a Brucey bonus is. <laughs> Good point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, she's it's funny. A, isn't it's, she? a, it's a Barney bonus. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that dinosaur called Barney or something? We'll have to use Barney instead. <laughs> as well. Doesn't like it. Just push through. Sitting pretty with his last ball, if he can get a touch on the jack, if he gets the opportunity, but yeah. let's see what Liam does with this. It's line one. Just over again. Far away, just that extra pace was holding him out. It was, yeah. Touch as well. So six one the lead now in this first set. Oh, 
looks like John Sproke won the first set there against Robert Carruthers. Yes, Debbie says we're certainly showing all rages here, and uh, Alex Kelly says nice to see you. To see you, nice. Good game, good game, good game. That must make Richie the dolly dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Dear <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 Finest pair of hairy legs in the northeast, that man, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you better on bullseye sat behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slightly looser end this end. For a crack on line. Yes, required. Just luck, and I think. Surely there's just a draw here, I'm not sure. Six one up, two ends left, just draw the shot. Absolutely. Still a good combination of different colours. I quite like the black shorts. The black shorts look quite nice, don't they? They do. There's been a fine array of different tops and shirts and colours. Mr. Gill obviously stood out. Oh, and he had that above top. everyone. Yeah, he had his his face on his top, didn't you? I think. He had his purple and purple. Was it his Super League top or yep. something? Like yeah, that, Lancashire yeah. Super League top. Has it made it's a great it? Effort. Yeah, we jazz things up in my county this year, just to make it more modern. And the amount of people jumped on board and and ordered these different team tops you know we're, we're playing teams and uh, yeah they got on board and when you look across the green it's really interesting you know you've got all these different colors and designs and stuff like that it still staggers me why some clubs insist on just having white tops in the club and won't allow color yeah ridiculous isn't it unbelievable So one two, Liam just keeps his hopes alive in this first set. It'll be a different look at Potters this year as well. People tuning in will see the the different look that we've gone for as well. Won't say too much and spoil spoil it, but yeah. Great stuff. I think it's good to have the choice as well, especially for indoor bowls, you know, shorts or trousers. You know, the trousers, you know, do look smart, but I think personally, and it's my own personal opinion, if you wear trousers, especially white trousers, if you wear a coloured shoe with that, it looks a bit silly. Um, where if you were to wear shorts, not too bad, but black, you can get away with an awful lot of different colours with black. <laughs> and for me, it's slightly more slimming as well. 
Mm. This is why I wore black underpants, black socks, black trousers. <laughs> I, did, I did have to go for the white shorts this morning because uh, when I got in last night I really could not be bothered to do any washing. <laughs> the club top did actually crawl off when I took it off in the ginger room earlier. Oh, into the side like dish second. and that's it. Shaky hands for the yep. fir first one. That's the first set done and dusted. Yep. Richie, I think I think uh, I think now is the time to tell Liam, since he's just put a one in the side ditch. About standing in front of the camera. No, no, you're not doing it. Okay. Not saying much, you know. <laughs> Come on, mate. You are like seven foot six. <laughs> it's two years though. <laughs> <laughs> He needed a four and obviously he went. <laughs> That's what we're all saying. That's why we've given you the job. There we go. <laughs> there we go, boys. You can tell I'm the organiser. I've sorted it for us, lads. <laughs> Get the umpire to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Next time you see him, I'll have a black eye. <laughs> oh. Of this delegation stuff. Good solid opening from Liam. So we're both playing the opposite hands. <coughs> Definitely think the ditch hand's the truer of the two. You've got the important job later, oh, Richie, as well. You've got to, you've got to present the prize later, mate. He's the face of the Run Vice podcast. Richie, can you just switch um, things there? Liam's looked, he's looked at the camera as well and then still stood right in front of it. No, I've already nominated uh, our executive producer over there. He's going to do it for us. And yourself, of course, because you... you I'm not shaking David's hands, have you felt them? It's like shaking a wet sponge. <laughs> 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 like the old fashioned Play Doh when you were a kid. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> Just get me Grippo back on. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it took me a couple of years to. To like tag on to what he was doing there, wait for me to put my me, me grippo on playing against him, then he'd shake me hand and just completely destroy everything. They were a lot better than they used to be.
middle smile there, David. Was, I don't it? Know that. <laughs> was it a smile or a grimace? I'm glad <laughs> I'm sat in middle. <laughs> <laughs> One a lame. I know, I know some players have a little bit of a gripe when you're asking them to move out the centre because they're that used to doing it, but what they've got to understand is they've got to get used to it. It's the way to promote the game and we've got to be able to see the balls coming up and people will be able to see them. It's not hard. I, I tend to just get right out of the way and just leave the ring open. Richie said a couple of times, especially when we're doing it outdoors. I think it's just it's, it's quite a new thing to a lot of people in this yes. in the UK now, and it's just going to take time for people to adjust. Yeah, you just get so wrapped up in your game, you do. don't you? You just forget. You I think more so at Potters as well, because the cameras are hidden within the boards, aren't they? Yeah. You know, when you change ends, the little flap opens and a <laughs> camera pops out. I remember. I remember the first time I ever got there, I was given the, the quick nudge yes, to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sandra McLeish always used to mark mine, and <laughs> it's very quick to kick me. Just lack and pace again, I think. Yeah, great line again. Yeah, should lift in enough for a shot, is it? Yep, there we go. On to Darren. Beth Reeve has won her first set as well against Josh Rowe. Doing well in this competition. She's been playing very well. I yeah. was really impressed this morning. She played three or four absolute storming balls. Heads against and turned them round for a three. It was a great one. wide. He did this a couple of times yesterday, he put a couple of balls in the side ditch, did Darren. Tends to just let a couple slide out. <laughs> Jason giving encouragement from the side of Darren there. <laughs> Oh, I forgot him. He's going to get the wrong side of the ball, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I said to him yesterday because he did it a few times, didn't he? I was going to get some of them things you get at Temping Bowling where you just inflate, <laughs> inflate the sides up. <laughs> Center line. <laughs> well, he's certainly not in the ditch this time. He's well on, well under the ditch. What's his pace like? Going to have to be good to get down from there. And he's in. Well, he's just a slight movement on the jack. Is it one in, one out? Still looks two from here. I'm going to call two. I'm going to go for one. You would. If that's not two, I'll eat my hat. I'll just prepare it for you, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry, Richie's already eaten it. <laughs> oh, from here it looks red all day. I 
not to laugh if I'm right. Thanks very much for watching everybody. We'll uh, catch you again in about three weeks time. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh man, I mean man. Oh man, I always set myself right up, don't I? Well, yep, you're an enjoyable a professional now. <laughs> yeah. It's been an enjoyable weekend. Thanks very much everyone. Yep. How on earth did you win that? <laughs> <laughs> you can't tip him a bloody yard off. <laughs> 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 I just wait for you to tip it, you see, and then whatever you go, I just automatically go the opposite because I know I'm going to win. Sue Brightman's asking, where are the commentators sitting in relation to the rings, Sean? If you're currently looking at the pictures right now, you'll see There's three nowhere. of us sitting on the right-hand side just in front of the green seats. Oh, there I'm we are, on the left there. I'm the skinny good-looking one, and the other two, well, yeah, you're on mind up. I've got a biscuit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're, they're worried as well, they're thinking, surely they can't be sat that close and he still gets it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Bennett, lads, did you know that Darren Way does a podcast for Ball Scotland? Yes, yes we did. Rock and Ball. Yeah, we, uh, we gave a little bit of advice when they were first setting up. I think it's a great thing for the, it's a great thing for the sport. Yeah, and I think as well, David, you know, what, what you're all doing, you know, like I say, Darren does it in Scotland, you guys were doing it for us, is it was also when we were all stuck at home and bored and wasn't a lot going on, you know, even though sometimes you weren't able to talk about, you know, bowls, as in what's going on right there and now, you're able to talk about things and, you know, it was important for some people, you know, because they were, like I say, stuck at home, some people were living on their own and, that you know, you just have that light-hearted banter where you know you can just tune in and well, I, I normally tune in when I'm struggling to get to sleep or something like <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> yeah thanks for the plug <laughs> just <laughs> put it on in the background you know and I, I normally have to listen to it about 400 yeah. times <laughs> we, we defied medical science to get yeah. people to sleep with us <laughs> far needs, better than night all <laughs> who needs calms and night all yeah. just <laughs> listen to the wrong buyers <laughs> podcast <laughs> no, but joking aside it, it, it's, it's been fantastic it really has it's been fantastic you know it's it's something new. Which is why we got you guys on board for these things, which has been great. And there's nobody else available, really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We'll start to worry when you're nice about us. <laughs> It's a great effort. This is, gets off the back of his own ball. He's perfect. Yeah, yep, there we go. Great ball. the bias as well. Might have just made it. Well, just arrive on the forehand. Oh, it's just oh. fallen over. He doesn't need it oh anymore. He's now lying a back toucher. I think you were exactly right, the shot you were going to see would be nice down into that split. Yep. Up through the jack to make two or three. I, I did it without even sending a ball. <laughs> 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 now that's commentating for you. <laughs> <laughs> he has the power. <laughs> 
just like this. <laughs> Draws the shot on the screen and makes the ball fall over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing master classes next. <laughs> Get me on that thing you were doing with them, four in a hole for a tenner. I'd, <laughs> I'll skid you. Well, Darren's just going deep with this one, I think. Yeah, there's not a lot on for no, really. for Liam other than that promotion. Well, take your well. chance and try and hit your own, and hopefully, no movement on the jack. Do you think? Yeah. It's tight, like it's tight. He's going to do well. The trouble is, he could easily lose a three. Here. Exactly that. Yeah. He's going. He's trying it though. That's what I thought. Just trying. He wants no jack movement at all. Wide, wide again. To be fair to Liam, he's, he's frustrated because <laughs> Mr. Potts has just cracked his leg on the table. Nobody's laughing at you, Jason. Are you okay? Or is the table all right? <laughs> oh, dear. Now I know why you put me in the middle. <laughs> oh, couldn't happen to a nicer that. <laughs> yeah, I think Liam's, Liam's a bit frustrated because in fairness, he's... he's not had the rub of the balls so far. He's, he's played some good balls, but just not getting the results. Yeah, there or thereabouts, yeah. like I say, just not making that result. Darren, on the other hand, is playing some good, solid balls and putting plenty of balls in the head. So, you know, these things tend to happen. Good solid opener again. You got your eye karate on. <laughs> it's all them crumbs. <laughs> Insignia. So that on. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> there be crumbs everywhere. Well, oh. Do again. They do, do they still do Insignia? It's a car, isn't it? No. Yeah. Can you not remember the advert? Insignia does everything. Shampoo to shower gel. I remember Vosine. No, I remember Vosine. The enough this year for oh. the one all over smell. <laughs> That's definitely show me edge. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah. Damn me. Other aftershaves are available. <laughs> <laughs> That's no aftershave. That's bleach. <laughs> oh, oh, well great played. Ball. Great ball. Oh, there's still a result there down that backhand, isn't there? Just two. Two down. Bowl onto the jack, you can use his own wider bowl back to the jack. Just as long as you're in that port, there's a few options. Definitely, yeah. I do think you've got to go a little bit more direct on that hand door because it drifts, doesn't get back. Annie Dunham giving us some grief. My little work colleague there saying I've managed to win a final this year at last. Thanks very much, Annie. P45 will be in the post <laughs> with you on Tuesday. Yep, yeah, someone available for this one. See if Richie can get the winner's picture up. <laughs> I have to 
show that to the camera later. <laughs> uh, just show up, it's still there. Just to find the port. I was surprised the way he played the uh, played his last ball. He's been Quick very hunting. he's been very direct when I've been watching him across the, the last couple of days and thought he might have gone a little bit quicker at that straight down underneath his own balls. He's got plenty of edges there. <laughs> 